Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. A Silicon Valley-backed initiative to build a green city for up to 400,000 people on farmland in the San Francisco Bay Area has been put on hold in an embarrassing climb down while an environmental review is carried out. The city would have been built from scratch on land 60 miles north of San Francisco, which is currently rolling prairie, but the tech billionaires say the entire timeline, which would have seen the city up and running within 10 years, was unrealistic. The California Forever campaign was going to feature on this November's ballot, but a Solano County report released last week raised questions about the project and concluded that despite the backing of billionaires, it may not be financially feasible. While the need for more affordable housing and good-paying jobs has merit, the timing has been unrealistic, Mitch Mashburn, chair of the county's board of supervisors explained, noting how without an environmental review the project was a mistake. This politicized the entire project, made it difficult for us and our staff to work with them, and forced everyone in our community to take sides. This November's ballot would have asked voters to allow urban development on 27 square miles of land between Travis Air Force Base and the Sacramento River Delta City of Rio Vista currently zoned for agriculture. The land use change is necessary to build the homes, jobs, and walkable downtown, proposed by Jan Sramek, a former Goldman Sachs trader who heads up California forever. But the group has now suddenly decided that it will follow the normal county process for zoning changes for the swath of land that is proposed for development. The group will fund a full environmental impact review and reimburse the county for staff time and consultants' work relating to the venture. Solano County supervisors were set to consider the report on Tuesday, but the organizers have now suddenly withdrawn the measure and say they will try again and send the package back to local voters for approval in two years' time. The report found the new city was likely to cost the county billions of dollars and create substantial financial deficits while slashing agricultural production and potentially threatening local water supplies. The city had been described on the California Forever website as an opportunity for a new community, good-paying local jobs, solar farms, and open space. California Forever said project organizers would spend the next two years working with the county on an environmental impact report and a development agreement. Delaying the vote also creates an opportunity to take a fresh look at the plan and incorporate input from more stakeholders. Read a joint statement on Monday by the county and California Forever. We are who we are in Solano County because we do things differently here, Mitch Mashburn, chair of the county's board of supervisors, said in the statement. We take our time to make informed decisions that are best for the current generation and future generations. We want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to be heard and get all the information they need before voting on a general plan change of this size. Founder CEO for California Forever Jan Sramek had earlier outraged locals by covertly purchasing more than $800 million in farmland and even suing farmers who refused to sell. He has insisted the project will get back on track. There has been plenty of opposition to the project, including from conservation groups and some local and federal officials who say the plan is a speculative money grab rooted in secrecy. Sramek had earlier outraged locals by covertly purchasing more than $800 million in farmland and even suing farmers who refused to sell, but has insisted the project will get back on track. At one stage, the group also used a shell company to buy up land from Rio Vista West toward Travis Air Force Base. The land sales, close to a military installation, sparked rumors that foreign spies were buying up the land in order to obtain military secrets. We want to show that it's possible to move faster in California, Shramek said conceding that the group had to follow due process. But we recognize now that it's possible to reorder these steps without impacting our ambitious timeline. For every year we delay, thousands of Solano parents miss more mornings, recitals, and bedtime stories because their commuting, 